set it up? Yeah. yeah this is and then we'll set it up. All right, you want this one? Yeah, yeah, fast one. All right. I'll set you it up. You gotta get all gone. Yeah, yeah. Either you stay gone or you be gone. Can you get some alpha blocks? <laughs> yay, yay, yay. Look, my pants are falling off, which is probably a good thing. What's up? Okay, so, um, obviously, um, you won the veto, yay, congrats. <laughs> um, I, like, totally come to you, like, slightly humbled, which is very hard for me, because I know what you felt like. Hat in hand? Well, I know what you felt like. Even yeah. though I knew what my goal was, you didn't. And because this game is so much about <laughs> not being able to trust anybody, you had no idea if I was trying to swindle you out the house or do whatever. Right. Um, obviously, you only know your own intentions. You can't know what anyone else is thinking. But I've tried to sing the same tune with you ever since everything happened. And I sincerely hope I'm not your target. I don't know who or what is. Mm -hmm. I know that it's obviously one of the three of us, but um, I, like even from that week when Dominic left, the reason I ended up voting him out was because of the conversation I had with you. And one of the things you said was like, don't you think that keeping him, even though he's leaving, giving him a vote, don't you think that's even even further slap in your face? Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't want to do that because now that everything is has gone crazy, I want I have to start trying to rebuild in some way, shape, or form. And that's what I've been trying to do since. I know we've danced a lot around, you know, not coming after each other and all that kind of stuff. Right. And I'm not coming after you. And putting up a pawn and not putting up Jordan when people were, like, flat out telling me to put her up, like, I won't do that. I just won't do it. I know. You guys have that thing. And she mentioned it, too, to me. Mm -hmm. You know, but this was my decision. No, of course. And I hope... You know, when people say that, like, this mm -hmm. was my... This mm -hmm. is fucking my decision. No, I know that. You know what I mean? I so. think that's kind of, like... Even during, like, even weeks ago when everyone started to kind of find out that Jordan and I had that thing, I was like, yeah, but it's between me and Jordan. It's not between and me and Jordan. And she said that to me, exactly. and I said that to her. I'm yeah. like, you, you and Clea made that deal, yeah. and she sticks to her word. I thought they were doing something. And uh, so you guys have that yeah, deal. That's, that's for you not, guys. And I'm like, I'm deal. doing what I want to do. Of course. So, and I know that you have to do, obviously, what is going to keep you and... Jordan A together in the house and B safe like and that's like one and the same and I'm, I'm not coming after you guys I just don't and I think earlier in the game I was so much like well I don't I can't say there's anything wrong with being a floater because that's a strategy it's just a strategy that kind of like whatever but now being further in the game and being someone that has gotten their hands dirty and has like gone out and fought for stuff and have, has made decisions it really like bothers me that I could leave before someone that has literally done nothing and that frustrates me mm -hmm. and i think it changes the game a little bit right well it does and it's been a couple weeks now because every time i feel like i go out for an hrh or pov i feel like my stakes are so drastically different than say a porsche or an adam or a shelly because it's almost like people look at them like well whatever you know mm -hmm. what i mean and that is one of the things that's been very frustrating whenever we've gone down for votes or whenever we've like talked to people in the beginning of the week when everyone comes upstairs and tells you everything you want to hear and at the end of the week they do what they want to do anyway and you're just like, I've had people flat out say to me, I'm going to do what I can do to keep myself at the bottom of the totem pole. There are people that have said, if I just keep them coming after each other, I get to just ride until they take each other out and then I get to the end. Right. I will never vote for someone like that. I just, I, I won't. Just because I know what it feels like to be on the other side. And I know that you're, you know, tight-lipped and you're going to do what you want to do. But I, I really do hope I'm not your target because I'm not coming after you. I know that me and Danny and now, you know, Portia are like the quote-unquote other side. But our goal has been very obvious and very specific. And that's mm -hmm. why we keep trying to put those same people out. And um, I think we've talked a lot about, like, not... Exactly. coming after each other and i i have zero i mean obviously i'm in the opposite position but i have zero problem with working with you and jordan to get i said and i said that week right. two that the only reason i couldn't was because of brendan and rachel right and that's i still stand in the same place so 
if I'm here next week, which I really hope I do, I really want to stay. I really want to like keep fighting and keep, I feel like I'm somebody that, I don't know, is a contender, is a competitor. And I, you know what I mean? I'm really competitive and I'm not afraid to play the game. So right. I would hope that, you know, some well, I definitely hear about. what you're saying. I don't want to say too much no, no, I back. Think. You know, but uh, as the game progresses, if you are here, like, well, not as it progresses, but if you are here, then uh, obviously we could talk more. Yeah. You know what I mean? But now I don't want to say too much just because I think everybody who's, when they're in this position, tells everybody everything and, or tells one person something yeah. and that person's, not only can you not trust that person, they're telling someone everybody else and that else. person's, and then the telephone. So now it's like, I don't even tell Jordan. I'm like, I know what I want to do, yeah. you know, and I know who I want to get out. And then after that moment happens... You know, we everyone will there. know what's happening, yeah. and then we can, we can go, go from, from there. there. Well, that's why I don't. I also don't think. And I do respect I've learned, that you have that thing with Jordan because your word is to me in this game. Maybe everything. not a lot of people. Well, that's the thing that's hard is that, and I was saying this earlier. I was like, it's really hard to, you know, I was down in the kitchen, and I Rachel's probably a very lovely girl, but Rachel also lies a lot, and so she'll come and she'll plant things, and I'm like. First of all, why are you telling me this, you know? And then I'm like, well, now that just puts something in my head about Shelly, who I know the two of you just hate each other. So I'm like, don't listen to either one. But at the same time, I'm like, what she said, somebody else once said to me that she said, you know what I mean? So you're, yeah. I'm, I always feel like I'm in this place where I am hands down, like, I'm not lying to anyone in this house anymore. I'm just not. Like, it doesn't feel good to be the person who got stuck in the middle of something that you were guilty by association and have the whole house, like, screaming at you. I just don't want to do that. Right. And... It's it's hard to keep up with lies. I don't fuck around with lies outside of here, so I can't do it in here. No, and I totally you get that. Mean? And by putting me up, I told you yeah. you're going up. Mm -hmm. And if you make it through this week, you know, consider it just a little payback. Because I'm still here, and if you're still here, you'll still. <laughs> I know I didn't tell you anything. <laughs> I know you did, but just as long as you know that, I do. that I'm not. I appreciate. I'm trying to keep you guys safe as well.